good morning. Welcome to the XPG IT company. Thank you, sir. Have you sent a copy of your resume? Yes, uh, I emailed it to you. Um, okay, let me check it out first. So, tell me about yourself. I am an IT manager for my previous job. I handled the creation of the vision of the IT department and measuring team development and key performance indicators or what we call KPIs. Identifying business opportunities and dangers in collaboration with organizational leaders. IT infrastructure development initiatives security and IT expenditures are all synthesized and reported on. I used to be a software developer before I became an IT manager and thought to myself that I need to grow more. So I developed on myself and from the skills that I honed, I landed the job to be an IT manager. I am an introvert. I usually like to have alone times but I don't dislike socializing as it is a key component when it comes to being an IT manager. Handling people isn't easy and I find that challenge to be the driving factor that keeps me going and allows me to do my job more efficiently. My plan when I get this job is to create a good environment for my team uh, which in turn motivates them in doing their job better. I thought of this because I consider relationship with others uh, to be much more important as it creates trust within the team and when there is trust people will follow you and believe that you are a great fit uh, to be their leader. Okay, great. Next is tell me why, why you want this job. Mm, okay, so I've had experience before as an IT manager, like I said earlier, and thought to myself that after working for three years in my past company, I'd like to work for a larger corporation. I've been in my current job for a long time and, and I'm ready for a change. I'd prefer to work more flexible hours, desire to improve uh, one's work and life balance. I've also done research on this company and saw what you are doing and what you're accomplishing and thought to myself that I want to be a part of this and I want to succeed alongside their team. So that's okay, all. so let me know more about you. If you are given a multiple deadlines, how do you think you could handle it? Mm. Back in the past company that I worked in, uh, there was a period where our team was given three projects in a row and all their deadlines were all about a month from when we started. So they basically all had the same deadline period. We were also lacking some employees as two of them were on vacation, one just had an injury and another one was on maternity leave. And I realized that this will be our problem as we need to double the workload of uh, other employees to complete the job that we were given. What I suggested and what we also did was that we can get help from the other company's department to help relieve and reduce the workload. I, suggest I suggested this to my team as I've also encountered this before with my past jobs and in the end, uh, luckily, we successfully finished all three projects and the customers were happy. Hmm. It impressed me, huh? Um... Thank you, sir. How about the language, languages have you programmed in? Can you enumerate those? Mm, uh, as written in my resume, I can program in C language, Java, JavaScript, Python, and SQL. I can't say I'm the best at all of them as there are tons of different languages for different purposes. But there are a few languages that I can be more efficient with as I've had experience with them like Java, Python, and SQL. If need be, I can learn new languages needed for a job or um, if a client needs code to be written in a specific language I can adapt I can adapt to that okay to move on can you describe the skills you have that makes you suitable for the job or the job you're applying for hmm. okay so from the earlier question I've mentioned that I know different languages and can learn more if needed I have uh, excellent problem-solving skills and I can communicate well with others uh, to relay the information or instruction that I need to pass on. My ability with negotiating is also good, as well as my management skills. All of the things that I've mentioned are the things needed for as an IT manager, so that's why 
I think that I'm qualified for this position. Okay. What are the challenges you expect from the job you're applying? And how do you think you would handle them? Mm. The first challenge is to create trust and bond within the workspace. I need to show to my co-workers and employees that I am competent enough to be employed in my position, to be where I currently am. I learned before that I need to listen more and act on the feedback that people give me. That way, they can see that I can change what is needed to change. I also need to show that I trust people when it comes to doing their jobs. That way, I can empower them and they can do their tasks well. There are a lot of ways in building trust and I plan on developing that. When it comes to technical challenges, it all just really depends on teamwork. Um, I can't work all alone. That's why we have a team. It's always a team effort. By developing trust, like I said earlier, teamwork becomes much easier and more efficient. My team relies on me to guide them. I rely on them to act accordingly. Without teamwork, we can't really accomplish anything. Okay. So just to quiz you a little bit about your knowledge in IT or information technology. Mm. In network security, what is your thoughts or what do you think is a honeypot and why is it used? Oh, honeypot. Honeypot is uh, a computer or a computer system designed to resemble potential targets of cyber attacks. They're basically like bait. It can be used to identify assaults or to divert them away from potential targets. It may also be utilized to learn about the methods employed by hackers. So the underlying premise is uh, you don't go seeking for attackers, you're not going to find them. Prepare something that will pique their attention, like like it said, the honeypot, and then just sit back, wait for the attackers to arrive. Okay, so lastly, what is more important for you? Is it the quality or the quantity? Quality or quantity? The most important for me is quality. Yes, having mass production of a certain thing can be good in certain cases, but in this job, you can't get away with code that isn't properly debugged or properly arranged. I prefer having a few skilled and competent employees rather than having thousands of them that isn't even properly trained and aren't even knowledgeable. Okay, well said. Um, do you have questions for me? I actually have two questions, sir. So uh, the first one is, what, in your opinion, is the single most essential measure of success in your role? Hmm. Measure of success. I think it's performance reviews. Mm. Okay. It is the measure of success I'm basing because reviews also have the so-called constructive criticism where I or we could improve what we are lacking. Okay, okay. So the last question, sir, is what are the company's goals for the upcoming year? Hmm. The company's goal for the upcoming year is to program a website for our big client, the YNR group of companies. If you know them, they are a huge company. Yes, because sir. this client of ours can bring a huge impact to our company's sales. Okay, sir. So they are really a big company. So that would be a great achievement if you do accomplish this. Yeah. Uh, and I hope that I will be a part of the, uh, the creation of that. Uh, that will all be my question, sir. Okay, so we w we'll just reach out on you after assessing everything. And I also hope that you, you'll be a part of it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, sir.